Hello everybody, my name is your narrator, and we are going to be doing my very first ever Q&A video. Isn't this exciting? I can hardly contain my excitement. <laughs> God, what is wrong with me? See, this is what happens when I try and record a video at 1.30am. Everything gets crazy. But nevertheless, we are going to continue onward. Time to get to the main reason why you're here. Let's do this. Question 1 is by Ian Fiddler. Are you going to do more Arizona Sunshine with Mr. Ducky? I can guarantee you that there will be more of Mr. Ducky. I'm not really sure if I'm going to be able to do it on my own, but I will try my very best to make sure that I stop his maniacal plans. The next question comes from Dragon77D9, and it says, How did you get the sane honey bunches? My grandparents have the greatest substitutes for swear words ever. And I heard my grandmother say honey bunches once. And I'm like, that's really freaking cute, actually. <laughs> the next question comes from Pro Sniper 360 And he says, have you professionally voice acted in any anime, cartoon, or etc? No. No, I have not. And I hate it. If I could get into like a studio like Funimation, since I literally live maybe five miles from the frickin' place, that would be absolutely amazing. I would love it. And I really love doing voices. And if I could do voice acting, that would be amazing. Like if I could get paid to hang out with all these other amazing people and have my voice projected for millions of people to see on like their favorite character or something that would be to me that would be absolutely amazing how old are you and is it you can you change your voice or do you have multiple personalities somebody forgot to english <laughs> No, don't worry, Gemma Slicer, it's alright. Um, but yeah, um, I am currently 23 years old. I am going to be 24, uh, soon. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm 23, surprise. I can change my voice pretty much whenever I want to. I mean, I can go from a, my normal voice all the way down to my narrative voice. And if I want to go all the way up, then I can go all the way up here too. <laughs> Hello everyone. <laughs> I mean, it, it's just a very... I just have a large range, uh, pretty much is what I'm saying. And um, I do not have multiple personalities. Unless I drink. Do you have to focus doing voices, or does it come easy? So, after doing different voices for many 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 years um they pretty much come naturally to me at this point rain scooby really hope i'm pronouncing that right is asking me what's the best way to ready a voice for voice acting so the best way that i ready my voice is i do a multiple um different things i do different stretches um i do vocal warm-ups um i yawn an extreme amount. I've come to notice, um, drink things like warm tea. Not scolding hot to where, like, you burn yourself, my god. Definitely, um, drink something warm, like tea, like warm tea, like, you know, to, to relax, and it's really good. How many, how many voices slash accents can you do? Okay. Now I can go on and do, like, every single one of these. And don't worry, I will in future videos include more and more of my voices and my accents and all that stuff. Uh, but until then, here is a list of what I can do so far. 
You get it? Got it to memory? Did you pause the video and write down and look at all the things that I did because I put it on the screen for maybe two seconds? Good. You are learning quickly. When will you do a face reveal? Wait, when? When will I do a face? When will I do? When will I do a face reveal? I literally just. Definitely need Mr. Ducky merch. I'll tell. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. If this video right here can get over ten thousand likes, I'll do it. Am I going to raid Area 51? No. Because I'm not an idiot. I am actually a veteran. I served in the army for four years. I was a 19 Delta Cavalry Scout. I shot very amounts of weapons. I've been through all kinds of places. Latvia, Estonia, Ukraine, the border of Russia. I've been a lot of places. All the Naruto runners are gonna start charging in. One of them is gonna get shot by a rubber bullet. And he's gonna go down. In th in full force, all of them are gonna stop dead in their tracks and realize... Oh, they're really going to shoot us. How can you change your voice so well? Practice. Lots of practice. Do you plan on making any non-VR videos in the future? Yes. Yes, I do. Oh, uh, I'm doing VR now because I've, I'm have i new to it and it's very fancy and fun and... Let's be honest, you're playing video games while getting off your ass. I have one question I must know. Where slash who did you get your inspiration from? That was Uncle Iroh from Avatar The Last Airbender. It was first played by, um, by Mako Imatwasu. And unfortunately, he passed away. And the second person, his successor to the voice of Uncle Iroh, is the amazing Greg Baldwin. And he's done, you know, voices from like Shaolin Showdown, Avatar the Last Airbender, of course. He's done uh, a coup from Samurai Jack. Like, it's it, his, the voice is amazing. It was actually kind of funny. I actually got to interview Greg Baldwin for a school assignment. I have never fangirled so much than when I was on the telephone with Greg Baldwin. I, I lost, I lost everything. I lost my marbles. It was insane. Uh, so, Greg Baldwin, if you if you're somehow hearing about this again, <laughs> somehow, um, I just want to say thank you for that time, and it, it really meant a lot to me. And thank you for all the work that you've done over the years. When are you going to do host a game for people to play with you? I am planning for that to be like a day or two, like a weekend maybe. Um when I can just, like, play with a bunch of people on, like, a server, like a Minecraft server that somebody in my Discord made. I still need to check that out. Thank you so much for doing that, by the way. Um, like, VR chat or, like, you know, just games that have, you can have, like, a lot of people at once. Ooh, you got a Food Wars profile pic. There you go. That show always makes me hungry, I swear. That show literally makes me hungry every single time I watch it. Do you have a girlfriend? And why are you always depressed? Uh, no, I do not have a girlfriend. I have been single for maybe coming up on three years now. Dear narrator, why do you decide to stick with Josh, Dub, and Molly? After they found you as a little... What's the evolution before Pikachu? Looks it up, Pichu... I'm done. <laughs> Why do I decide to stick with them? One, they are amazing dudes. Not just YouTube creators, they are amazing people. Like 100%. They're super funny, they're super talented, and they're just fun to be around. Them and Rekit, like, they're, they're just fun people. And every time I do a recording session with them or anything like that, they play games, even if I have to stay up until like 3 a.m. in order to get a good recording session with them, 
it's just fun. Because I can, I can be myself. I can, you know, it's just great. Plus, I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for them. So, what is the meaning of life? To me, the meaning of life is to enjoy life. You only have one life on this earth. Sure, you may be rich, you may be poor, you may be popular, you may be the nerdy kid. As long as you have people around you that care for you, people who are always there to pick you up and show you how beautiful life is, that's all you really need. Well, everybody, this concludes the um, Q and A. Very first Q and A. I think I think I did pretty well. Um, sorry, I didn't have a whole lot of content in the background except for me playing video games. But eh, what are you gonna do? I love you all, honey bunches, and I'm gonna continue to be making as much content as humanly possible. So let's do this together. We.